Travis, this yeah, coffee. Yeah. I wish we were sponsored by Caribou because I'm giving them free. Um, You've been drinking it for like two hours now. I've got a medium iced coffee and a, I'm having heart palpitations right now, so I've got to go. You would have never hospital. survived the night shift. No, I, I wouldn't. I had to take a break from caffeine because I, I was getting too wired. I When I worked during the night, I'd have probably about. So when I wake up, which would be like usually 3 or 4 p.m., I would have an entire pot of coffee. Mm-hmm. Just to like, that's. That's to get me to normal. <laughs> That's to get you to like normal basic functioning. And then body. to like keep things going, I would probably have six full um, 16 ounce things throughout the night. Because they had a whole coffee machine there. And you could get night. And I, I, sometimes I'd get like that double. They got like that dark roast, mm. which is like they put a shot of espresso in it too. I'd do that sometimes too. Did they did they have options where you could like put fancy stuff in there? They did, but I don't do that. I don't. But like, you don't do that. Either. My rule of thumb is you don't don't drink your calories. Eat some eat some food that has some vitamins or something yeah. useful in it. Yeah. I need to get like tw- like twenty five more bananas. I like the idea of this level. I think it's cool. I think it is too difficult to navigate. Mm-hmm. Like I don't always know. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how to get to the different places. It doesn't have enough landmarks that look distinct. Yeah. It might be different if there was a map. Option. So, and I, I don't like the level after this either. I guess they both open up simultaneously. The Gloomy Galleon. So I oh, kind of like to just Galleon's my least favorite. get what you need to out of these levels and then move on. Because all the levels after this I actually really like. I really like Fungi Forest. I really like Crystal Caves and mm-hmm. the Castle. Yeah. Like I see this testing deep. It's like, am I supposed to know what that... Oh, it's a department, not deep. Am I supposed to know what that means? I don't know. I just need like 45 more bananas of... Oh, is Chunky? We're going to run around as Chunky. We don't have anything as him yet. Yeah. I think I, that'd be your best bet. I think the design... I, I got to give Rareware credit. They're really good. Um, I guess I don't know if it's just one guy does them, but they have really good character designs. Like, every rare character I remember very distinctly. Like, mm-hmm. you got Banjo, all the... Oh, here we go. Here's some nanners. Banjo, all the Kongs. They're very uh, memorable in that sense. Conquer. Conquer's back for Yeah, I don't love Conquer, but Me it either. sticks with you. Um, Gosh, if you want to talk about bad game design. You know what? Um, I, I've talked so much crap about Conquer for so long, and it's like... People still hold that game in really high regard. It's like, whatever. I'm never going to touch that again, though. Yeah, me either. Um, I found out... So, yeah. um, I like ranting about corporations because I don't like them. Yeah. And also um, housing stuff. Yeah. So, there's a huge development going on Who? right now in Hudson. Yeah. Uh, across from the bagel shop. And uh, I, I... My boyfriend just sent me the, the plans that they're that they're doing. And everything's going to be, like, looks like Suburbia 101, right? It's going to be your basic... It's amazing. <clears throat> I think this town has quadrupled in size since when we were young. They've gotten rid of so much, like, forest land and yep. into housing. Like, we have a laundromat and a Popeye's now and, like, mm-hmm. a Lian Chan. Like, we got all this crap that we never had when we were young. Yep. And there's going to be apartments, but it's probably going to be, like, those luxury apartments. That's where you came from. Yeah, I thought I saw a balloon... Oh, yep, yep, yep. So oh, go up. Yeah, okay. And then uh, to the left, once you go up, there's the balloon. That's right. Um, But they're also doing some senior living, too, which I was surprised by. And they're putting a park in, which I was also surprised by. But I guarantee you that apartment complex is going to be like luxury apartments. I don't have my, my gun. I am, yeah, I am just, It's this place looks so different than when we grew up. It's kind of surprising. I didn't, I never considered us to be in like a, like, we live in, like, a, I guess we don't really live here now, but our place that we live is, like, a, like a wealthy area now. I thought mm-hmm. we were kind of, like, lower middle class, but we're, like, we're, like, fully gentrified now. Oh, yeah. That's not fair, because it's not that kind of area, but what I mean is things are just very different. Things have, I mean, what is our population right now? Probably in the 20,000s, at least. I think when we were growing up, it was, like, 8 or 9. No, it was, like, 11. Oh, okay. But, yeah, we've grown a lot. It's just one of those... I mean, I guess I don't feel sad about it. I'm not, like, looking longly at the past. Of, no, like, no, me either. Um, oh, yeah, he, t- he has the pineapples. It's the bazooka. I'm crashing. I'm not mm. actually crashing, but I'm going to crash tonight. Which is too bad, because I need to finish Persona 4. 
This year almost done. It's not that long. Yeah. Weirdly enough, I have never played, nor do I really like have any interest in playing Persona 3. Is it like Persona 4 and 5? 3, 4, 5 are kind of similar. 1 and 2 are the different ones. Mm. I just like... I got I got what I needed out of those games. I kind of want to go back and play Persona 5 The Royal um, someday. But it's like I also don't want to play like 80 hours of the game I've already played for an extra uh, 20 hours at the end. Yeah. I... It's, I um, am enjoying playing Persona 4 right now because I can already, I already know, like, these are what I like about it, These this is what I don't. Like, compared to Persona 5. We'll do a podcast on Persona 4 yeah. probably, right? Yeah. This is a weird movie. He's got, like, this dropkick. Um, but I'm, I'm excited because it's like, I already know, like, I like this better about this one, I like this better about yeah, that Yeah, I really want to compare the two. It's weird because I feel like, I feel like Persona 5 improves on so many things but then it's like there's so many things that they decided not to take from mm-hmm. Persona 4 and just not do it. And it's like, oh, if you had just combined the best parts of both these, you'd have such a great game. I feel like that's kind of how I feel about this one, too, um, compared to something like Banjo-Kazooie. It's like there's a lot of interesting stuff that they're doing, but then the game design, but then like the world design and some of the things that were really tight and like Banjo-Kazooie or really efficient, like kind of got lost in the way by the wayside for this one you know i like how he like squeeze he like stretches out and then goes back that's fun i remember in middle school band when we played um louis louis mm. and the trombones got like a they got like a little featurette and we all just stood up on stage and do it, it was, wait, what the heck was it yellow blue yellow yep I thought because they were red guys, I had to do the red <laughs> keys. I was confused. This is a this is a classic video game puzzle. It's I mean it's like Banjo Kazooie. Yep. With the turtle, I said I like it better in Banjo Kazooie because it's not like I don't like that it's literally a and then was it D. purple? Yep. I don't like that it's literally a piano. I think that takes away some of the whimsy. Yeah. I liked when it was the turtle singing before. And you hit him on the back. Yep. And there was like a little conductor. There was a better presentation to it. And then D, D and then was it A? E. Okay. I think this is a game that... Uh, I was going to say you could remake it, but I think it'd be better if they did a sequel and just improved on things. Yeah. I, would, I think you could do HD, Banjo-Kazooie, and Banjo-Tooie. And then I guess you could maybe... Then E... Right? Or no, D. D. D E C. I think you could. Mm, I don't know. I would like to see them try doing Donkey Kong 3D platforming again. Because I think it works. It just needs needs less character. Do it more Donkey. Like there's too much yeah. that's not Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. They need to take more inspiration from that. Or even like there's some series that never even had a 3D. And then D. D E C. And then A. This better be it. I'm getting confused. See, and this is the, like these are the kind of puzzles where, for some reason, I'm just good at remembering this stuff. Well, you're a musician. That's true. Oh, people have like one of those like I'm, I'm randomly not. really good at um like anagrams. I don't know why I mm-hmm. look at anagrams and they're like I figure them out really quickly. And I have a harder time with those, even though I like English. Um. Uh, I feel like something. I feel like this game shouldn't get a remake because like you said i think the concept could work well but maybe it would just be like donkey kong diddy kong and dixie, and dixie kong like yeah um, and then keep the animal transformations yeah and i would i would i think that would be the most oh God, i hate this okay i'm gonna try and do this but don't be surprised if i like <laughs> don't beat this get frustrated then we have to do it a different thing i got, <laughs> I got bananas with somebody else too i think with so, chunky yeah, yeah. But this is the only thing I think in this game that's like hard. I remember the um, cutout boss being really hard too, but that might have just been because I was a kid and stupid. That might be with this one too. You know? No, know. this I I think this is like I I remember. I was really me and my cousin hang out hung out a lot when we were kids. And I remember I was like, oh, if I can't beat anything in a game, I'll go to my cousin's house and he'll help me. And I remember we just spent days trying to beat this, and we never. I think this is as a kid where I, like the end of the road because if you can't beat the bosses here. 
You can't, it doesn't matter how many golden bananas you have. You can't go to the next world if you can't beat the boss. Mm-hmm. I'm really. Do you have the? Do you have her propeller thing? I'm pretty darn sure I got it. But yeah, you need it. Yeah, okay, we're good. Um, I'm trying to think. I think instead of getting Last of Us Two, like we we're talking about, uh, the only other PlayStation game I'm gonna get this season is I'm excited that they're doing um Tony Hawk HD. Oh. One or two. <laughs> and that's <laughs> one where it's like I'm. I, I'd rather have it have an HD than a new game. Yeah. Because they're keeping they're keeping the old music too. They're bringing all the 90s the songs back. The soundtrack to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was always... It's just funny to me. Yeah. Um, because, like, I could, like, pretend like I was punk, even though I was not at all when I'm I was punk. a kid. I'm ska. You're ska? I, I'm ska. I'll, I'll agree with that. I like ska. This, and this thing's scary, too, honestly. I don't like this guy. Do you play Animal Crossing anymore? Not really. I haven't I, played it lately. I've been popping it every now and then. I'm having fun with it. Then I feel, I have the weird thing where it's like, I have, it's stupid because we're on quarantine. I have literally nothing going on in my life, so I should be free to do whatever I want. But it's like I play Animal Crossing and I was like, oh, I should play a game that I can actually finish. In like, yeah! Because I, I don't know, I need that sense of, uh, I need that sense of like, you, you only lose a watermelon, I think you fall, you don't die, which is a nice yeah. feature, but it's not a good indication of what's to come. Oh my goodness. I forget, how do you attack him? After he jumps around for a bit, he comes out of his shell, and then a little switch will come. When he hops like this, you kind of gotta... Okay. You kind of gotta... Oh! oh! You, you sort of have to... perception. You sort of have to wait to see where he's gonna jump, and yeah. then use that to make your choice. But you want to stay kind of close. Yeah, the way the camera swings around is so disorienting. So I think the best solution is just kind of go in squares. Yeah, that's what I did, I remember. The way that it. these squares light up has something to do with how you shock him to, I think. Mm. So he's on a white one, so I need to find... Oh, oh, oh! I'm still on. I need to find the white... Ah! I think when you fall, he goes back in the jack-in-the-box yep. mode. Yep. This mm -hmm. is going to be a whole thing. I'm not afraid, though. I'm Eminem. I'm not I was about to say, yeah. I actually really like it. <laughs> Debbie's probably one of my favorite artists of all time. I don't know why exactly. I guess it's because he's very... The I like artists who are very theatrical. I do, too. I like... I, um... I've always kind of liked artists and not... I mean, not so much from pop, but more of, like, when I like to listen to indie music or maybe not as well-known music... I really like boring. I really like music that like the lyrics don't necessarily make sense all the time or like the, you know, how they make the song is like a little different from usual or they include like different instruments. I really like um music that there is that theatricality to it where it's not just There's a character. There's a character there's a story. or or like it's just not like somebody playing the guitar and telling their life story, which I think is can be beneficial. Um, or like can be oh i see it that's the blue one the... oh wait oh i need the white one <laughs> i think is that how it works or can i just i think so yeah. yeah i i oh. oh am i losing all my melons no you're not losing any oh you. okay you've only lost when you got hit well this is just gonna take a long time yeah it gets really hard to I don't know why they didn't need to go this far. He turns invisible at one point. I hate that. Oh, is that for the rematch though? No, this okay. one doesn't have a rematch. The only rematches are Army Dillo and the Dragonfly. Mm. I don't know. What do you? What would you say? Like your top three bands? Like what's wh who sits in your head? <gasps> bands or artists? It can be one person artists. or a group of people. It doesn't have. To. I uh, so my favorite band is called San Fermin, and they're. Oh, if it's something nobody heard of. Exactly. That's the thing. Uh, they only have like a million views on Spotify for like their most popular song. But Oh, so you do have Spotify? Yeah. Well, that's just weird because you haven't listened to my album yet. On it. <laughs> so I thought, I thought maybe you didn't have a Spotify account. <laughs> You're still only at five views. You're like, no. when's it coming up to six? <laughs> We're at 21. Oh, nice. Before the end of this playthrough, play we gotta hear David's thoughts on the review. Send him your hate mail. Uh, where's the white one? 
It's back here. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, you're talking about your band. My band, they're people call them baroque pop or whatever, but it has like a lot of intro inst- instrumentation. Oh. And the band, the guy who like makes the music, also is like a classical music composer, and he's like made an opera and stuff. What I like about it is, like you were talking about, it's very theatrical, very performative. Like, the last album was about, like, him, like, his life as a kid. But it wasn't, like, it's not your typical, like, growing up story. But it's more so, like, like, there's a lot of, like, fairy tale stuff kind of iconography in it. But it's, it's hard to explain. I also like Imogen Heap. I think she's cool. I like... Is like Imogen Poo? It's Imogen Poots, but she Wait, no, Imogen the Heap name. is the, um... Fru-Fru. No, they... Ha- oh, no, I'm thinking of Depeche. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I was thinking, um, like, uh... Yeah, no, it's not Depeche. Uh, obviously, I like Lizzo. You gotta love the Lizzo. Yeah, well, she's, um, she's it right now, right? Like, like, what else is there? Doja. Doja's it right now, I feel like. she. Yeah, but she hasn't... Her album was, like, a while ago now, and... Her well, number one single was actually kind of garbage. I like say so but the Nicki Minaj version sucks yeah it's not as good and the problem is they they did another version of it that sounds better people like um I never listened to uh Charlie XCX people Mm. like her and um there's a song by her called Vroom Vroom that's really good but that's because it's like a weird mishmash of a whole bunch of different styles of music which I like I like songs where it's like you can't really tell where it's going Sometimes it's nice to have something it's that's a super little... super stereotypical for just being like a schlubby 25-year-old white guy, but I really like Weezer. And if, I, <laughs> if I really like Weezer, I mean, I only like the Blue Album, and I think it's a masterpiece, and then I basically don't like any other... I was going to say, so you are other, a schlubby 25-year-old. One or two other songs they have, but I think the Blue Album is like one of the best albums I've ever heard. I love it. I don't know what it it's is. I think classic. all their other music is so poppy, but that one, I think people like, I don't know when you get more successful, or it's, it's, I think we talked about before where it's like the less limitations you have, like if you have less limitations, you can kind of do whatever you want. Yeah. Like, and once you sign onto a major record label, then they're like, yeah, Oh, we gotta, we gotta get the sales up. So you gotta do Beverly Hills and Beverly Hills is on the blue album. Isn't I know. It? Oh, no, oh, no, it's, it's not. not. No, Never it's mind. not. Um, that was actually, no, but it was just like, it's, def- it's weird though. Cause they do so many songs about like being a, like we like they have songs about how they won't just like be pop music and like they won't let their label dictate what they do. So and then they, even more confusing. <laughs> well, there's that song by a uh, real big fish called sell out. That's, that's a like, different attitude. That's, that's like a, they know what they're doing yeah. though, which I like. Um, this is insane. Whoever came up with this is on some nonsense. It's like, did it need to be invisible? And what the heck is... I, okay, so it's a toy factory. He's a jack-in-the-box. I guess these are just switches. When I was a kid, I thought they were, like, buildings. But I guess they're just platforms. I also was so confused about how they light up when you step on them. I thought that you had to, like, light them all up, so I'd be hopping around mm. trying to do it. I don't know what the point of that aspect of it is. Is he on a blue one? Okay, good. Yeah. Oh. oh! I think this is the last... Maybe it's either the last I or the last. Day. We'll see, though. I might I might lose it all. I am mad. Wait, what the... You did a back cop? That it is very stereotypical. Like, guy who grew up... <laughs> um, in the night and like the late nineties, early two thousands, to like the Blue Album by Weezer. I think it's got really good songs on it, though. Oh, it's probably good. I haven't listened to it, so I can't. I can't say like it, it was good or bad or overrated or whatever. Ah, uh, the gay, the gays are loving Chromatica right now. What's is that, Lady Gaga? Yeah. What is she doing? It's fine. <sighs> this every Lady. Gaga. <laughs> it's like it's like oh okay. No, it's what? Uh, pretty much what I thought it would no, be. No, the, the problem. So. I grew up on Born This Way, so that's why I like it more, you probably. You grew up on Born This Way. I, sh- I shouldn't say I grew up, but I was like 15, 16 when it came out. Did you listen to it a lot? Yeah. Oh, all the time. I love that album so good. Oh, oh. I died. I don't care. See, the thing is, this new album, it's all like dance music, but I, but my preferred Gaga is just when she's like weird. Yeah. Like crazy. Like she has a song like, where, um, where she, 
uh, Star is Born? <laughs> no. Or Cheek to Cheek. Like, there's, there's a song on Born This Way where she's like Marilyn Monroe, and she's talking about, like, being a hooker. It's it's a trip. But but now this one, it's like, it's all dance music, and she does a song with Blackpink, which sounds like every single pop song, like, on the radio, where it's like, we're going to use the clave beat, and we're going to have, like, people, girls talking about how they're psycho, like, sweet but psycho or whatever, and it's just like, I just... I, I like when I listen to Gaga, it's like I just want something weird and different, and this is just like what everybody's doing. Okay, I got mad about that, so I don't want to play this anymore. Okay. Let's call it a day. Let's we're call running, it a day. We're running out of steam. Let's now. call it a day. I'm going to save. Okay, we'll be back next time. Bye.